Hey guys, uh, I'm going to show you how I don't introduce clipping and also maintain my FOV at whatever I want for my FPS models uh, without affecting like the actual game. Um, a lot of people use camera stacking where you stack one camera that renders everything but the FPS meshes and one that does. Um, however, that is incurs a performance cost because you are forcing the scene to render twice and not happy, not good, right? Obviously, if you're on a small game, like who cares? But if you care about performance, consider doing this, especially if your world has a lot of mesh is, um, or you just care about performance, like in general, because, you know, like me, I don't know, I, I care a lot about it even if it doesn't actually matter. Like my friends will be like, uh, why are you trying to optimize this when it only uses 1% of the CPU and you have like thousands of projectiles on screen? And I'll tell them, um, because what if I want millions? Anyways, so you go to your ERP assets. Um, if you, uh, I really don't know the difference between these two other than this one references the thing that you need. It'll be your, uh, I just used the ERP high fidelity render because you know I want it to look nice. And I assume if my game's optimized, I can run high fidelity even on like not that great of devices considering this isn't too complex high fidelity of a game anyways. Uh, but regardless what you do, I'm gonna remove what I have right now here so I can show you guys. Um, as it is right now, I have a player right? And if I look at them, he doesn't have his gun rendered because, well, it's not rendering on the same layer. It's rendering on a different layer, right? And as you guys normally know, if you do have a camera, right, and you go into your settings, um, you can not render your FPS view, right? And then you make a camera that does render the FPS view. What I do is you, you put your FPS materials. I have them here under my, where I have them? I have them under my camera. Why can I not find my camera? That's awkward. Oh, here it is. FPS camera. Um, if you see here, I have this gun, uh, but you can't see it. Interesting. Well, you, you, you would be able to see it, but you can see it's invisible. Like you can see the mesh outline there. Um, and that's because I put it on this FPS view and in the settings asset, I am choosing not to render the FPS view, all right? So you're going to want to do that. You want to put all the stuff you want to render in your FPS, like your gun, your hands, whatever, right? On their own layer, then you're going to want to untick them from both the transparent and opaque layer mask. And then what you're going to want to do is see this button is add render feature and you want to click it and render objects experimental. I mean, it's been experimental since like for as long as I know, um, but it works, no problem that I've seen. Uh, I use it and this allows you to render an object uh, with separate settings than you would other objects. Um, when, when I say objects, like you don't get to pick the actual objects, it just renders a layer differently than the other layers. That's the best way I can put it. Um, I'm gonna choose this for my FPS view. Um, I'm gonna call this opaque, op opaque, opaque, bleh, opaque. Um, and I'm gonna call this uh, all depth, right? And you'll see why in a second. Um, I'm gonna set this one to rendering before rendering opaques and I'm going to set the layer mask to my FPS models, right? Now you can see it. And then I am going to go into the overrides. And if you see here, it looks kind of funky, right? It's not set up right. Uh, Cause it's set for a different FOV. Cause right now, in an FPS game, you typically like to have your FOV really high, like 90, for example. I have mine at 90. I prefer 90 to like 100 um, because you get to see more, right? And seeing more lets you hit sick flicks. So when I go to the camera, I'll select that and I can change the FOV to 40. That's the one I like. 
and it can keep your gun mesh and other meshes at not that stretched high FOV. Um, but then as well, if this doesn't do anything to prevent clipping right now. So right now this will just make it so the meshes are not affected by the FOV, um, allowing you to like effectively override it here. Um, in order to, oh, and one more thing, you probably also want to do the transparency. So if you add the, another one, you can do the same thing. I'll just copy this. Um, and I'm not going to include the depth. Well, I'll include the depth. Why not? Um, and this is not opaque. This is transparent. Set it to after rendering transparency. And this is in transparent. And the layer mask I have for this um, will be my FPS materials. FPS layer and in the overrides, I'll do the same camera. This mesh in particular, I don't think has any transparent mesh, but I do this because if you ever do happen to add something that does have transparent mesh, it'll also take care of it for you without having to change any settings. Um, I don't think it's particularly useful for my case, but I'm going to do it. So you guys know how to do it. And right, we set our camera to 40. So now our FPS is good. So you can see here if I load in, you know, our FPS doesn't affect it, but we have clipping. Oh no, how do we fix that? Well, normally you'd use two cameras and that method is not great. Well, it's easy, but it's not great for performance. Uh, at least I've heard that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go and check, these, check this depth option. And this will let us effectively override, cause like, okay, the fact that it's clipping is because, you know, in the world, the mesh is going through our like, the gun is going through the wall. Like in the game, the gun is going through the wall. And like preventing that from happening is like eh, kind of a pain. So instead making it so it just renders the gun and it like artificially sets the depth to like not care about anything and just render it regardless if it's through the wall or not through the wall and just be like, yeah, render this dude no matter what. I don't care at the like depth of whatever depth it is. I don't care, right? So we're running the depth and this one will be set to less equal. No, it actually won't. It'll be set to always, right? And our gun is gonna look a bit funky, right? You're gonna be like, what? That looks weird, right? And don't worry, um, this will be fixed after we, right? I'm gonna do the same thing to this one, always, right? Which won't affect it because I don't have any transparent mesh on here again, but you might. Um, I'll tap this one down. And then we're going to add another render objects and copy our previous one and we're going to change this to less equal depth and uh, everything else remains the same we do need to override the camera still because if we don't um, you'll notice it might leave some artifacts Oh, wait, we need to select this. So you'll see, yeah, it, it, it renders the gun twice. Like, oh, you're like, oh my gosh, it's rendering the gun twice. Um, this needs to occur in order to not have this these artifacts that are left behind. And I will set the FOV to be, FOV to be the same, All right? So now our thing gets fixed, so it looks a lot nicer. But we still need to override depth, and we'll leave it at less equal. Um, actually, I'm not sure if I need to override depth, but I'm just going to leave it checked because it works. Uh, and I'm also going to do the same thing for my oops, wrong button. Same thing for my transparency. So this is going to be this one's set to after rendering opaques, but it needs to be before rendering opaques because of like shadows and stuff. Um, all I know is that's what I was that's what I learned from some other tutorials. And I'm gonna set. I'm gonna copy the transparent one and paste that there. And then this is going to be the less equal depth, All right? I'm gonna set this to after rendering transparent. Okay, change the name. What less equal depth? There we go. Now it's happy and transparent and our FPS view layer. And 
we're going to set the depth to the less equal. And then the camera will be at 40, like usual. And now, if I run it, ta-da! Wait, I will fix that quickly. What did I do wrong? That was a funny moment. It didn't actually do what I wanted. Uh, let me make sure I selected these right. 40, 40, less equal, and always. Um, you know what, I might, it might actually supposed to be after opaques, if I'm not mistaken, actually. Sick, and there you have it. No clipping. Um, I'm assuming that worked because the wall is opaque. <laughs> and if I'm set to rendering after the opaques, even if the depth of this pistol goes, pistol, revolver goes through the wall, it will not care because I'm, I, I'm overriding the depth features. So there you have it, how to do it without camera stacking.